this is Vessel from Chaos. In this tutorial, we are going to take a look at how to create a cylindrical projection in V-Ray Decal and also go over the different bump options. First, we are going to create a default V-Ray Decal and set its placement in the scene. Next, we will go over the new cylindrical projection option, which is of great help when setting decals on cylindrical objects such as bottles. And finally, we'll take a look at the different modes for bump mapping within the V-Ray decal. With all that being said, let's get started. Here in 3ds Max, we have a simple scene to work with. I've got all of the assets from the Chaos Cosmos browser and placed them in the scene. Let's say I'd like to have some sort of decoration going on onto the cup's surface. That could be easily achieved using the V-Ray decal, so let's create one. To create a V-Ray decal, we can simply click on its icon located in the V-Ray toolbar. Let me turn Auto Grid on. This way, we can create the decal on a surface of choice. I can click and drag now onto the cup's surface to create the V-Ray decal gizmo. Once we have the decal, we can apply a material to it. For this purpose, I have prepared the sticker material that I'd like to apply to the decal. Once applied, as you can see, the material might appear stretched. To fix that, we can simply click on the Fit Aspect to Material button, which would automatically take the correct aspect ratio from the image used in the material and apply that aspect ratio to the V-Ray decal size by changing the width and length parameters. Since I'd like only the sticker to be visible, excluding the white background, we can use a texture to mask off the background. I have such a texture prepared in advance, where of course the black part would be invisible and only the white parts would be visible. Let's plug that texture into the mask slot and now only the sticker is rendered onto the cup's surface. Great! By default, the V-Ray decal does a planar projection which works great when the surface you're projecting on is relatively flat. But using this type of projection on a curved surface might lead to stretching, missing parts of the texture, or overall displaying the decal wrong. A good example of such surfaces would be bottles, cups, or pretty much any cylindrical type of object. So to properly display the label on the cup in this example, we will need a cylindrical projection as opposed to planar. This is easily achievable. All the way at the bottom of the V-Ray decal settings, there is a parameter called Band. If we start increasing its value, you see that the V-Ray decal gizmo starts to bend. Using the Band parameter, we can wrap a decal around an object and this way create a cylindrical projection. At this point, we can further adjust the scale of the decal if needed. The Band parameter is a great addition to the V-Ray decal tool. It definitely brings some great new opportunities. Alright, now that we have taken care of the proper projection of the decal, let's take a look at the bump options. In our example here, the cup has a bump texture applied to achieve that wavy look on its surface, and the decal itself has a bump texture of a noisy rough type of surface. By default, those two bump textures are independent from one another, as you can see here in this example. But what if we want to achieve a result where we can blend them? We can easily do that by unchecking the Use Only Decal Bump checkbox. As soon as we do that, you'll notice that in addition to the noisy bump of the decal, there is the wavy bump applied to it as well. This way, we get a blend of both bump textures. Using the Surface Bump Percentage parameter, we can control how much we blend the two bump textures. By default, it's set at 100%, but we can of course lower it if needed. In this tutorial, we've gone through the process of creating a V-Ray decal and using its bend parameter to create a cylindrical projection. After that, we've looked at how we can mix the surface bump of the object with the bump of the decal. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and found it useful and helpful. Thank you for watching.